Hello everyone, I'm uh, Suman Kakarparthi. I'm Principal Product Manager for IVAN. So just to give you guys some context on, uh, on IVAN, uh, three years back, to enable hybrid band deployment for our customers, we actually uh, looked in and said, like, how do, how do we do that? And that's when we actually came up with uh, uh, IVAN, Cisco IVAN, right? That's how it started. Now, over the years, there is uh, a lot of evolution happened. And when we, the more and more we thought about it, it's, uh, it became very clear to us that it's all about the outcomes. And here I specifically listed them out because this is what we are trying to deliver, right? In this session, we'll be talking about the outcomes that IVAN delivers and the architecture evolution of IVAN to, to enable these outcomes. So let me get my marker. So the first one that I want to talk about, and uh, please keep it interactive. If you have any questions, please let me know. The first one that I want to talk about is zero-touch deployment. Now, zero-touch deployment, if you look at the traditional way of uh, how things are done, you have uh, a router or a device in manufacturing. It goes to the staging facility. And after that, it actually goes to uh, a routing expert actually enables uh, connectivity on the remote branch. Now, what we, what we can do right now with Epic EM, with the controller, our controller-based architecture, is we can enable zero-touch deployment using, uh, using an USB, right? So from a, uh, from, uh, from a technician point of view or from a customer point of view, the only thing that needs to be done for zero-touch zero deployment is plug in this USB, plug in the Ethernet cable, and the branch comes up, right? That's all is needed. So what is there in the USB? The information that we have in USB is really our call home address. So the call home address here is really the address of our Epic EM. So once, we, once you have this established, everything else will, the policy distribution, policy automation, everything else will, flow, will, uh, will float around. So the way how it works is, step one, you actually connect your USB with the right call home address, you plug in your ethernet, right, and you power it on. So once you, there, you do that, we actually make a connection to our Epic EM controller. So the first thing that we do is, uh, step two is we check the iOS version. If you are not having the right iOS version, we will actually push the right iOS version from the Epic EM to the branch site. The branch, once it gets the right iOS version, it actually reboots and starts the process, right? And then makes the connection again. And this time, you will skip step two, which is loading the iOS version because you already have the iOS version. Epic EM controller actually pushes the security certificate, which is, our step three, which is 509.x, right? Yeah, forgive me if it's not too legible. So you're pushing a security certificate, and once we do that, you use that certificate to actually encrypt this uh, connection that is actually going over, uh, over your internet, and then uh, uh, we start loading the policy configuration, right? So in summary, from a user perspective, all you need to do is plug in your ethernet, uh, plug in your USB, and turn it on. So Pedro can actually show the uh, CLI of uh, what, what is really there on the, uh, on the USB. Pedro? OK, so, um, so we do. My name is Pedro Leonardo, and I work on uh, product management, um, part of uh, Jeff Reed's uh, organization. Um, and I look after the management of routing platforms. So uh, what someone is saying is the plug and play. So we do have, um, for, um, uh, we have a Cisco ISR uh, 4K that we are going to use for this. And I'm connected here to the console. So this is a Cisco box here. And so to start the plug and play, uh, there is only um, these lines that we need to tell. Basically, you have to get a device to connect to the controller. So as I get this into my device and I get this started, so now the device is connecting to the controller and starting to do the plug and play and get configured. So we only need this uh, line to get into the box to call home. So can we do like a discovery 
and pick these up, like if we were going to deploy them in a field? That way if somebody didn't have to plug in a USB or anything like that? Yeah, that's right. We are working on a full, um, like completely uh, without CLI, so okay. that we have a Cisco redirected cloud okay. service, uh, where if you are familiar with Cisco Meraki, right, yeah. devices get yeah. discovered. So we have that same uh, mechanism okay. built. So you, you'll eventually have some the, kind of DHCP-able yeah. um, that's true zero touch deployment that you will not have to use USB stick in the future. Absolutely, part, absolutely. You are you are spot on. The for the existing resources, let's say if you already bought a Cisco router or if you already have a Cisco resource, you can actually use uh, upgrade the image and then just use uh, the Epic EM controller this this path, right? If you are uh, going forward. You will have it even without USB. You can just connect to the cloud and uh, load your image and establish a secure channel to the controller. Right? So it becomes more and more automated in terms of how you deploy or enable your branch. And the most important part here is Epic EM controller right now, it has a full-blown certificate authority. Right? So we can manage the entire device trust. What it means is today we can actually detect based upon the GeoIP location we can detect where you are connecting from, San Jose, RTP, and so on and so forth, right? So let's say if your uh, router is stolen or if your device is stolen, you can actually, with a single click, you can actually revoke that certificate and shut down the tunnel. So when the router tries to actually connect again, right, it will actually give, give an alarm saying, hey, this is a stolen device, and then it, 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 it alerts the appropriate authorities, right? It, it gives you a very clear indication that this is a stolen device. So in that way, the device trust lifecycle management is completely integrated as part of the Epic EM basic infrastructure. Right. So are there other transport options? Like I noticed up there was just port 80, HTTP. Are there other options for that? So yes, absolutely. So uh, what, DHCP or port 80 HTTP is uh, one option. Uh, we don't expect just the internet. You can even have uh, MPLS. Uh, then uh, the USB will have uh, the, you need to put in the MPLS information, uh, your uh, gateway address and so on, and then use, to use it to connect it, right? So if you look at, I think we'll actually show that in the demo, the number of options that you will have. Ethernet or internet connectivity is not the only option that you have. You have other options too. Right. Is, is it is Please. that supported on all branch hardware routers or any any specific platform? Uh, that is supported on all uh, branch. I mean, uh, the right software is needed from an image perspective on your routers, uh, and it should be supported on any of the platforms that you need. So ISR four case, uh, uh, ISR one case, and all the flavors of it, right? So the the flavors won't matter. What about switches? Any switches support this? Switches also support plug and play, right? So plug and play and zero touch deployment. So we definitely have, uh, uh, so, and, and actually you asked a good question. This goes to Epic EM, right? So Epic EM, and today we are gonna talk about, when we talk about SD-WAN, we are gonna talk about IWAN app. But Epic EM, look at it as a more generic platform and where you have all these apps sitting on it. I mean, I will look at it as uh, uh, Android or, or iOS, Apple iOS, and you have apps addressing specific uh, problems, right? Like you are doing the WAN orchestration with IWAN app. Uh, you can do uh, plug and play and uh, automatically bring up your zero touch deployment for your switches using plug and play app and so on. So on the Epic EM platform, you will see more and more apps actually coming.